I think in a few months before, when you start prepping for a race like this, you, you start eating and drinking the way you would during the race, so that uh, nothing really changes when you get to the race. I think, you know, just, just be aware of how many carbs you need per hour, how many hours you're going to be racing, and, um, and you know, adjust your intake according to that. And you've you got to be on it, you've got to concentrate, you've got to be, be focused. A lot of guys will race for two or three hours and forget to eat or drink, and that's essentially going to cost you, yeah. I eat everything. <laughs> if, if it's food, I'll eat it. If it's edible, I'll eat it. Um, yeah, uh, I try to eat a balanced diet um, as much as possible. I don't have any special fancy little things. Um, try to eat more on the high protein side when I'm training and then when you're racing and stuff, a lot of carbohydrates. Nutrition, I'm pretty simple. Uh, it's normally Powerade. They used to be our sponsors as well. Something along those lines, very simple. I don't take much food and I race hungry, believe it or not. Post-race nutrition, within 30 minutes, um, I have pre-made mush and beans with lamb in it as well, because your body has had all these sweet things and drinks and all the rest of it. And the, what you really want is something savory, something salty, and that just sets me up for the next day completely. Mush and beans is my go-to. There weren't plastic bottles those days, so we had no liquid on board for the first couple of races. And we'd come in for tea at the halfway mark. There most, if you look at the program on most days, there were halfway spots that we'd come in and then go out. So we'd, we'd come in and have tea or whatever. And uh, so it evolved as things like cycling became more apparent how you could take your juices and so on. So yeah, the race has evolved quite a lot. 